What's going on everybody? Mike here. Welcome back to Talking Turbos. Today, we're going to try to beat this heat. Uh, I apologize for the late videos uh, this past week. The heat here in, in Canada, in Saskatchewan, Canada, has been kicking my ass. We're used to cold, not this kind of, this, this fucking heat wave. We're not used to it. So a lot of us have been having heat strokes and it's just not been a fun time. That's why today, I'm in the, in the garage. It's a little bit cooler than it is outside. Thanks, we got the drafts going. I got a door open over there. I got the big door open over here. So we should be able to get a little bit of a draft. But anyways, today what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the engine there on the stand. Uh, might take the oil pan off it, check it out, see what it looks like. Um, intake manifold, stuff like that. We're gonna get it, we're gonna take a look. Just take a look. Um, and then we're gonna come up with a plan maybe. Uh, what do you guys think? Rebuild it. That could be fun for the channel or sell it. Could also be good for the channel because, you know, extra frees up some extra funds. But I think a hot rod build would be a lot of fun. Anyways, you guys let me know. I'm going to uh, fix on my uh, engine stand because from it sitting for like a while, I lost a pin and some hardware randomly. So, yeah, let me do that and we'll be right back. All right, folks, got the engine hoist all back together again. Got new pins in the wheels because they randomly disappeared. Got everything all nice and loose. Now I'm going to uh, lift the motor up and put it on the back there. I think the girlfriend's probably going to take the video of me, you know, heave ho and on the on the chain. So oh, it's so much awesome having a girlfriend to film for me and to help me. It's been amazing. Anyways, let's get this on here.
sharp. Can be sharp. <laughs> All right, folks, you can see we got the motor up in the air. Everything's looking good. So, it's actually quite a bit heavier than the LS motor, not gonna lie. Um, got the back plate here on. Let me bring, come around. So, got the back plate on, everything is tight. Really good, should be somewhat centered. Um, I'm gonna run a uh, grease, you know, in here so that uh, when it goes in the thing we can turn it around it's not going to be all fucking gross i was thinking of actually drilling a hole in here and tapping it and putting a grease like a zerk fitting in here um i don't know what do you guys think comment down below would you like to see that kind of mod done on the channel could be very easy to do and save you guys some money in the future as well so comment down below if you'd like to see that mod but we're gonna now put this guy here on this guy and i think the last stuff you saw before this was me putting it on so Huge shout out to the girlfriend sitting over there. You can't, you can't really see her, just her legs for uh, filming. So she's a little shy yet, but we'll get her out of that, folks. We'll get her out of that. You put some lube on it so it goes in easy. Yep. Gotta lube it up, man.
No, the only problem is if you can make the hole. Oh, I got that on video. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hey, folks. As you guys see, it's on the stand, ready to go. Uh, I always went to see if how, how easy it would tip and stuff with all the grease I put in there. Made a bit of a mess. So before we start tearing this apart, I'm going to get one of those trays that goes on the, uh, the, uh, the, the stand so that I don't, you know, get the floor all fucked because after all, this ain't my shop. So that's why I don't want to make a mess. Oh, fuck, I almost ripped up my bag. <laughs> don't want to make too much of a mess before I pull out of here entirely. So... Yeah, because I got my compressor is going to be coming home. The only thing pretty much that's going to be staying here, I think, is the powder coating setup. Everything else is going to be coming home to the home shop and to what we're going to be doing out at the farm, which you guys still haven't seen, but you will, and I guarantee you guys are going to enjoy it. So, but we're just taking a look here at this motor. She's, she's seen some better days. You know, it's been heated up a bunch of times. You can see overheated it looks like a, a few times. So, we're going to be taking care of that. It's pretty dirty as well, but that's also from sitting at my uncle's and aunt's farm for the last, like, what, two years, guys? Three years this has been sitting there? So, I don't even know yet if it crank, if it turns. So, maybe what I'll do here is I'll put the, pre uh, I'll get the girlfriend to film it before we leave the end today. We're going to put the crank, uh, breaker bar on the crank pulley, and we're going to see if we can actually get it to turn. I'll even be nice, and I'll take the spark plugs out of it. So... Just to give it an extra bit of a chance. Um, I don't know if it's got for oil in it. If it has any. Or even if I drained it. This motor. Ah, fuck. Those skis are sharp. Son of a bitch. I just cut my ankle open on a damn ski. Anyways. Too much shit in a small area. It happens. Anyways, yeah. Well, we're going to see if it is seized. It might be. The more and more I talk about it. The more I think it might. It actually possibly could be from sitting. And if it is. Well, we can take care of that, because this thing will probably go to a machine shop. Anyways, let me pull out the plugs, and uh, let's see, just see if I can get to, to turn, I guess. I gotta pull the plugs. She's hanging up. 
She does want it, but she's hanging up pretty bad. Okay. All right, folks. Got all the spark plugs out, and they're all pretty much the exact same. So look a little bit burnt. So you can see a little bit of a little bit of moisture on there. It looks like burning a bit of coolant on this back cylinder, it looks like. So we'll find that out when we open it, when we take the heads off, which will probably be next video. Next video will be the tear, will be us tearing into this motor. Uh, this video is just putting it on the stand, checking it out, making sure that we actually have something to work with. So that's that's my number one thing, because it's been sitting for a while. So as you can see, you know, plugs are burnt, but a little bit of coolant on the tips. So. Yeah, it's not too bad overall. So you can see. So, and the best part about it is too, like, I can just grab this little guy here, and it spins. See that? Uh, the girlfriend probably got a better video of me doing this, but she spins, guys. So if she spins, she'll win. And uh, that's where we're going to end it. I got a uh, message that my daughter's not, is at the hairdresser. She's not doing too good because of the heat. So we got to end her here and I got to go take care of that. So, because kids first, kids first. But anyways, guys, that is, this is it. This is the 350, 5.7, Vortec, whatever you want to call it, out of the Tahoe. The original motor, the one that we uh, swapped for the LS. I should have probably said that at the beginning of the video, but it is what it is. And uh, we're going to see what we can do with it. So, but that's all for today. She runs, she spins, she's on the stand. Next video, like I said, we'll be taking off the intake manifold, probably the heads, the oil pan, checking the, the, the bearings because it was losing oil pressure uh, when it got hot. So we're going to be definitely checking the bearings, um, head gaskets, all that. I got a new oil pan gasket and I got a new oil pump for it as well. So who knows? It might just be cam bearings. And if that's the case, and crank bearings, obviously. So if that's the case, new set of bearings, a nice cam. You know, we'll do some head work to it. Maybe different rocker ar rocker arms and stuff like that. Cause it's a roller roller uh, motor, so full hydraulic roller setup as it is. So we'll keep it that way. But nice folks, I am dying from this heat, as you can probably tell. It's 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 really hot. <laughs> so I'm gonna end it there. Next video. Why do you want to be on film? Nope. No. <laughs> No, it's not, sweetie. What were you going to say? It's hot. It's not that hot? No. All year. Well, I, that's because you've been sitting there. I've been doing all the work. Sweating. So, anyways, next video, we're going to be uh, in Watrous, I believe, checking out that big-ass car show they have every year. Might even be able to hop in a monster truck again like last year. Who knows? But I think it'll be me, Haley, Mom, and my girlfriend this year. I don't know if Emmy will be allowed to make it. I don't know if my stepdad's going to be coming. Either way, we will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for tuning in, tuning in today. Oh, sorry, the heat's starting to get to me. Take care of yourselves. Love you. God bless. And the next time you see the motor, which will probably be, which will be soon, we're going to be tearing, tearing into it. So, trying to get some stuff going here while I figure out what's happening with the Tahoe. And that will be another video. That we're going to probably discuss that after watch us. We'll talk about what's going to happen with that. So, anyways, take care of yourselves, guys. Love you. God bless. And try to stay cold as much as you can. It's fucking hot. <laughs>